Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyal Unni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in Solution and Discussion on UPSC Engineering Service Exam Questions in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 45. The topic is hydraulic turbines. So, we take few questions from the hydraulic turbine and we find the answers to the questions. The first question from 2015 question paper, a jet of water issues from a nozzle with a velocity of 20 meters per second and it impinges normally on a flat plate moving away from it at 10 meters per second. If the cross sectional area of the jet is 0 0.01 meter square and the density of water is taken as 1000 kilogram per meter cube, then the force developed on the plate will be, we have four options here we calculate the force on the plate. So, for, so jet is hitting on the flat plate, the flat, the plate is moving with a velocity 10 meters per second, and the jet is with a velocity 20 meters per second. So, the force on the moving plate F equal to rho A, density into area into capital V minus small u square. So, capital V is the velocity of the jet, u is the velocity of the plate whole square. So, substituting 1000 into Area is 0 0.01 into 20 minus 10 whole square equal to 1000 Newton. So, the answer is option C, 1000 Newton. The next question from 2014 question paper, a water jet of 0 0.0015 meter square area issues from a nozzle with a 15 meters per second velocity. It is made to impinge perpendicular on a, on to a flat plate, on to a plate which moves away from the jet with a velocity of 5 meters per second. The force on the plate due to this impact will be, we have four options here, a similar type of questions, we take the same formula again, F equal to rho A into velocity of the jet minus velocity of the plate whole square, so 1000 into area equal to 0 0.0015 into 15 minus 5 whole square equal to 150 Newton, calculating it is 150 Newton. The answer is option A, 150 Newton. The next question from 2020 question paper, a 120 millimeter diameter jet of water is discharging from a nozzle into air at a velocity of 40 meters per second. The power in the jet with respect to datum at the jet will be, we have four options here. So, we calculate the power of the jet with respect to the datum, P equal to 1 by 2 mv square. So, m kinetic energy of the jet, 1 by 2 half m e square is kinetic energy of the jet, where m e equal to rho a into v. So, rho is the density, a is the cross sectional area of the jet and the v is the velocity of the water. So, substituting and calculating 1 by 2 into 1000 into pi by 4 0 0.12 square into 40 to the power 3 equal to 361.728 kilowatt. So, the approximate answer is option B, 360 kilowatts, that is the answer. The next question from 2014 question paper, there are two statements. Statement 1, an impulse turbine can run without change in its hydraulic efficiency even if its casing is damaged. Statement 2, an impulse turbine will not have draft tube. Select the correct answer using the code given below. So, both the statements are correct. So, the impulse turbine will not have the draft tube, the impulse turbine even if the casing is damaged, it can run efficiently. So, both the statements are correct, true, but this statement 2 is not the correct explanation for the statement 1. The next question from 2021 question paper, in a hydraulic turbine, if the energy available at the inlet to the inlet is only kinetic energy, then that type of turbine is called as impulse turbine. So, for the Pelton wheel, Pelton wheel is the example for the impulse turbine. For the impulse turbine, the jet of water issuing from the nozzle is hitting the bucket. So, the kinetic energy is hitting the bucket. <coughs> so, the type of turbine is impulse turbine. The next question from 2014 question paper, consider the following statements. The wheel can be operated freely in the air. Pressure at the exit of the nozzle is atmosphere. Pressure does not vary along the moving band. The change in direction of momentum impart thrust over the moving vane. So, which of the above statements 
applied to the impulse turbine. So all the four statements are applicable to the impulse turbine. So the wheel is operated freely in the air. The pressure at the exit of the nozzle is atmospheric pressure. The pressure drop occurs only in the nozzle. Pressure does not change across the moving blade because the moving blade is in atmospheric pressure. Change in the direction of, direction of momentum impart the thrust over the moving vanes. All the four statements are applicable for the impulse turbine. The next question from 2020 question paper. While designing a Pelton wheel, the velocity of the wheel u is ku into square root of gh, where ku is the speed ratio, h is the net head on the turbine, g is the acceleration due to gravity. Option b, 2 ku into square root of gh. Option c, ku into square root of 2gh. Option d, 2 ku into square root of 2gh. The correct answer is ku into square root of 2gh. The next question from 2020 question paper, the turbine of the same shape will have the same Thomas number, Reynolds number, specific speed, rotational speed. Thomas number is connected with the cavitation. Reynolds number is used to distinguish the flow, whether the uh, flow is laminar or turbulent. Rotational speed is very simple, which you can measure using the uh, tachometer. So the correct answer is specific speed. So specific speed is used to compare the turbines. So, it is the important design parameter uh, for the hydraulic turbines. The next question from 2020 question paper, an inward flow reaction turbine has an external diameter of 1 meter and its breadth at the inlet is 250 millimeter. If the velocity of the flow at the inlet is 2 meters per second and 10 percentage of the area of the flow blocked by the blade thickness, weight of water passing through the turbine will be nearly, we have 4 options here. We calculate the weight of water. Weight of water equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity. Mass of the water equal to rho into pi dB. Pi dB is the area and it is 0.9 times of velocity. So, uh, because 10 percent, so it is, this area is multiplied by 0 0.9 because 10 percent area is blocked by the blade thickness into V is the velocity into G acceleration due to gravity. Substituting 1000. 3.14, 1000 into 3.14 into diameter equal to 1 meter, breadth equal to 0 0.25 meter and uh, 0 0.9 is the factor of uh, uh, area blockage and 2 is the velocity and 9.81 acceleration due to gravity. It is 13.86 kN per second. So, the answer is 14 kN per second. 13.86 equal to 14 kN per second. The next question from 2014 question paper, consider the following statement with regards to hydraulic turbine. Kerplan turbine are more most efficient at part load operation. If n is the number of jet in the Pelton turbine, then the specific speed is proportional to the n square. The flow ratio of the franchise turbine are in the range of 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. Which of the above statements are correct? So, statement 1 and 3 are correct. Statements 2 is not correct. So, the specific speed is not uh, proportional to the number of jets. We stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. You can refer to the subject, with the, may refer to the book Fluid Mechanics and Machines for the theoretical uh, discussion on the hydraulic turbine. I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any doubt on the subject. We will meet again with another video lecture in the UPSC exam questions. Until then, bye.